Hello, my name is Anthony Speaker Call Me Latin, and welcome to this tutorial on World Painter. Um, I've pro been promising tutorials on World Painter for quite a while, and I never really knew where to start with World Painter because it's such a powerful tool, and there's so much to it, and uh, so much that I could show and want to show, and uh, and don't know how to cut it up in nice pieces. So I thought by myself, just let's show the most powerful, most awesome, most insightful little thing that I know that people can do with World Painter that will like kickstart their World Painter knowledge stuff sky high right from the beginning. So if you have a very little knowledge about how World Painter works, this is going to this like if you know a lot, this is really going to help you a lot. If if you know a little, this will help you a lot as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brush like one of these, um, completely within World Painter. You absolutely don't need any uh, photo editing skills. You have don't need any insightfulness about how to make a mountain or um, how it looks on a height map. Absolutely zero knowledge about it is required and I've seen nobody do a tutorial on it I don't think I'm not sure if anybody other than me actually does this knows this trick uh, tried it out at least um, because as far as I know I've only seen uh, tutorials which have like imaging editing software open and go like go to Google and get a height map of a mountain and then um, uh, do something with it, but this absolutely not required. So um, I'm just getting, going to generate a new world file. New world. Um, the name is not relevant. Dimensions is sh should stick to 640 by 640. Um, like the the brushes, the templates according to the FEQ should stick to 151 by 151 pixels, 301 or 601 pixels by 601 pixels. So. Um, like these are the dimensions of the brushes according to the FAQ, but um, I've like tested it quite a bit and uh, it will accept other resolutions as well. I think as long as it's squared, otherwise you might get derps. And I don't think I test anything not squared, but let's just let's not try that. Um, it is important that you stick to a manageable size such as 640. Otherwise, you can get like really steep cliffs or something if you like downscale a map of a thousand by a thousand you will get stuff that you don't want so s maximum 640 by 640 I would really suggest you keep to that um, so we're going to make a big brush we're going to do 640 by 640 um, now I'm going to do topography uh, it should be a flat world uh, because we don't want any heights the level of the land should be on 1 the water level uh, uh, on 0 we don't need water uh, let's turn beaches off because then we get a nice green uh, field. Uh, the rest doesn't even matter. Um, so we're just going to create this map. We have a nice flat world. I will open the 3D viewer again because then everybody can see what I'm doing. And um, we're going to lower this terrain first with one bit because it won't let you generate a map which is an absolute zero height but it is important that it's an absolute zero at the edges so we need to first paint the map an absolute zero um, okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly s I'm going to speed up this footage I'm going to uh, paint a mountain and um, we will turn this mountain into a template in a brush template and then time after time you can you reuse it and can really quickly make some detailed mountains right off the bat with just one brush and uh, yeah I'm going to quickly make a mountain it's not going to be that awesome uh, I'm going to spend five minutes but of course if you spend ten minutes more you get a much better end result and you can do a lot cooler things um, but I'm just going to quickly make one and yeah I will speed up this footage Oh, by the way, I'm, uh, I would suggest that you don't make mountains higher than a maximum of like 125 blocks because the default terrain, the water level is at 64 blocks high um, and you will never, to my experience, you will never paint a map from an absolute zero to an absolute maximum of 255. So um, having mountains which are bigger as 125, they're really specialist brushes if you are going to make them. 
most of the time, like I would, I would aim for 125 height maximum. I think that's that to me, to my experience, is the best height to make, to uh, to paint these. To if you don't know where you can find the height, it's down below in this corner. Um, it will it will give you the height of wherever you're pointing the brush at that exact moment. So I'm just going to keep painting on this mountain. Um, what I'm just doing, I'm going to paint some valleys in and some ridges and this will help to give the, the give the mountain some more dramatic look. Um, as I said I'm just going to do this really quickly and like I am somewhat experienced with world painters so I just I can do this stuff really quickly. It doesn't take me much effort. But if you're new to world painter you just have to fool around a bit. Um, as I said, we're going to create one of these brushes that you see in the menu to the side. You make them once, then you can repeat them time after time. So it's definitely worth the time investment that you're going to make to make an awesome mountain. Um, so this the shape of this mountain is okay-ish. Um, let's make it a bit more dramatic. And let's put some, put some noise on. Okay, so now we have somewhat of an interesting mountain, <coughs> and um, I'm going to lower this edge into episode zero again. And so yeah, here we have a mountain template um, that we—it's not that bad. We can reuse it. Um, so what we're going to do now, because we're going to export this as a height map, and we're going to browse to. Um, now let me let me save it first in uh, on the desktop. I'm just going to do, call it, um, or should I browse directly to the right folder? That's might, that might be best. Um, so I'm just going to see uh, users, your username. There should be a folder called App Data, and it might be invisible if you are. Um, you can also save it on on the bro on the on the desktop and um, then do if you know the percentage sign app data percentage sign it will get you to the right folder as well roaming here's the minecraft folder that you would um, put minecraft stuff in but now we're going to slide towards a folder called world painter which is um, the world painter folder there's a map called brushes i think it's is in all is is installed like with world painter if it's not all lowercase brushes uh, you just make the folder and it should take it. Uh, so I already have some brushes here but um, I'm going to call this one tutorial brush 2 because I already recorded a previous version but it went wrong somewhere. Now there isn't a new brush shown in this menu because we need to reload World Painter. So let's just get rid of that, reopen World Painter and do, 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 do. it's taking a bit longer when I'm recording stuff. My my desktop is absolute mess. Yeah. Okay, so let's open the 3D view again. Um, the the brushes here are listed in alphabetical order. This is the brush that we just made. Um, it starts here. Um, it's in alphabetical order. It goes one, two, three, and then left to right um, all the way down. So tutorial brush 2 is the last in this line. I'm just going to make a flat world so that you can better see what this brush can do. Oh, I need to open the 3D view again. So we just created this brush. I'm just going to paint it right in. I'm going to make a really high um, high um, radius for this brush because that because we painted this as a really big mountain for in Minecraft scale um, and if you're going to make this a really small one then you will get a, an end result that you don't anticipate it will probably have really steep, steep cliffs um, because height wise ne nothing changes but width wise it becomes a, le a lot less denser so you get steep cliffs that's something we don't want okay so this is I'm just going to redo this on a stronger intensity let's get somewhere quickly um, so we can see the mountain taking shape in this screen it's not high enough 
Not high enough yet. Let's make it 125. So here we have the mountain again. This is the mountain that we painted previously. Here it is again, but now if you if you make multiple of these brushes you can reuse them. You can make them few smaller ones, you can make it um, into a mountain chain. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with them. And um, so yeah, having a few of these templates in in your world painter will help you out a lot to make quickly some really cool mountain chains, cool mountains right off the bat. Um, you can mix them up, match them, and um, you can really make specific brushes to make a specific terrain. So like a cliff brush, um, whatever. I'm just using two brushes for this mountain range. It is quite okay for two quite random brushes. I quickly made these. It took me about 10 minutes to make such a thing and I can reuse them time after time. So I've some specific brushes like I have a volcano brush, a Sahara brush, a dunes brush and like various brushes. Some are really detailed for small minor things that I want to like a significant thing that I might want to put in a map and other ones are really big just to make these big mountain chains really quickly. So you can make the really specialized brushes and I would suggest um, you will fool around with it and um, try to really master it. It's it's the most powerful thing that I can probably show about World Painter. No hassle with um, photo editing software. You have you have zero insight is required in how you like uh, look at a height map and yeah it's it's the most awesome thing so I want to thank you for watching this video uh, if you have friends family or whatever who's also world painting do link it to them I think anybody will appreciate this tutorial because it's such a powerful thing you absolutely no do need nothing in terms of photo editing or uh, insight or knowledge um, so yeah I think this is the coolest thing ever that you can do with World Painter. You've seen it here first. <laughs> At least I don't think there are any other tutorials using my technique. So um, yes, please share, like and all that stuff and um, I will do more World Painter tutorials. So um, keep stay tuned because I might show some more interesting things if you are interested in World Painter. I want to thank you for watching and have an awesome day.